Hey my beautiful bitches, it's me Fiona St. James and welcome to another episode of Fiona's Coffee Talks. And as always, I like to start off every day with a fresh, hot, black cup of coffee. Hold the cream! I'd love to in my new favorite coffee mug with my logo, Fiona's Coffee Talks. Mm. Coffee with no Kahlua. Hold the cream! <laughs> I used to have it in my other favorite coffee mug, which is Oscar Wilde's quote of the century, which says, life is too important to be taken seriously. So, going to dive right into today's topic, which is, drumroll, alcohol and drugs. So, as you know, if you saw my, a video that I shot a couple of months ago, months ago, I guess, because today is, I should mention, Thursday, May 21st. It is going on 3.30 in the afternoon. So I did a video months ago on sobriety, and I made mention of the fact that I've been sober. I've done nothing, had done nothing since right before Christmas. And I did mention in that video that, you know, I wasn't going to make any proclamations. I wasn't going to say, I'm never going to drink again, or I'm, you know, I even didn't, wasn't even sure how much I liked using the word sober, because to me, like when, when you think of that word, when I think of that word anyway, kind of makes me feel like you have a problem with it, which I never did. I just sort of reached the point where, you know, I'm, I just turned 55 and, you know, I've always been a social drinker and I've never hidden the fact that, I, you know, I like my weed, I like my nose candy, aka glitter, but I, I never really went overboard with either one of those things. But just something happened in December where I was just like, I'm kind of over all of it. Uh, I did mention, though, that I would probably participate in at least a couple of those things for my birthday. So my 55th birthday, which was March 3rd, I threw, threw myself a little party at Nowhere Bar, which was the Saturday before that, February 29th. And I will admit that that night I did have a handful of drinks and I did have my little glitter, my nose candy. And uh, it was fine. It was fun because I, I knew, OK, well, it's this I'm going to make the exception. Uh, but it was interesting, too, because after that night, I came to the realization that like alcohol, I just don't really care for it anymore. And the same thing with pot. So I was always, you know, since then, I like I could safely say I have absolutely no interest in either one of those two things. And in particular, like pot, weed, 420, whatever you want to call it, because for me, uh, it always opens up my appetite. And what I have found is when I smoke, I overeat. And then if I overeat, then I just don't feel good. So it just, you know, it's just doesn't work for me anymore. And, and alcohol, it's like, you know, because I've, I've mentioned this before, I eat a certain way called the shepherd's code, which is like ketogenics. So when you eat that way and you're not doing a lot of carbs or sugars, any bit of alcohol, just my body does not respond to it well anymore. So I realized that that night. So that night of, of my birthday party, I mean, I, it was OK. But the next day I was like, wow, it wasn't even that I was like hung over. It was just physically how it made me feel. I didn't like. So it was enough for me to say, OK, I'm done with that. But the one thing that I always said I I can't say that I'm done with was the nose candy because I don't do it that often anyway. And, you know, that's not going to make you eat. If anything, that's going to, you know, that's going to make you not eat. <laughs> so I like being honest about things and I'm going to be completely honest here. But a few weeks ago, you know, here we are in the middle of this pandemic and a friend of mine who has a connection, I would say, you know what? I think I want some. And, and for me, I think I'd like, so I ended up getting a, a little thing, a little vial, and I did it because I kind of wanted to like almost like do my own little test and like test the waters and see, you know, how much do I really care for it anymore, you know, or how am I going to react to it? Because, you know, the other thing is in the past when I've done it, it puts me in a certain head where like, you know, you kind of like get horny and then you're trying to hook up or like it interferes with, with me like trying to, get things accomplished. So backtrack a couple of weekends ago when I got it. I remember if it was two or three weekends ago. But anyway, one of those two. Uh, I got it on a Friday and like I did, I did some that Friday, 
But the good thing was that I was able to still do what I had to do. And I was able to actually like control it and not be like, oh, you know, I want to do it all because the old school me, honey, if I have the shit, I'm going to do it all. And then I'm not going to get anything done. But I was able to like, you know, do do a proper amount and like not let it interfere with what I had to do and put it away and, you know, got a good night's sleep. And then the next day I was like, you know, doing what I had to do and working out and filming my content and all of that. And, it, you know, but then I did more of it. And so, you know, I, I didn't do it all in one sitting. You know, it took me a few days. So what was great about me doing it was uh, it taught me that, yeah, you know what? It doesn't have a control over me anymore. Like I can handle it. But the bigger thing that it made me realize was how much I just don't give a shit about it anymore. And that to me was like, wow, that was shocking because I realized that weekend when when I finished doing it, I was like, wow, I don't really have any interest in this anymore. Uh, So now, whereas, and before I could say, you know, I could safely say that like, weed and alcohol done you know I couldn't say that about the nose candy but now after that weekend I was like yeah I can and so there was a part of me that was like wow this is like the most liberating and I felt so elated to know that I could safely say that where I could safely say I have zero interest in ever doing it again and uh so again I'm not one to make proclamations but I kind of am so there you yeah. talk about contradicting myself. So for me, I didn't even mind spending the money that I did because, you know, I found out sooner than later that I really just kind of am over it. And it wasn't even that it like made me like feel bad or feel a certain way. I think it was just the fact that I was like, oh, so okay, so I did it. So big fucking deal. Like really what I did it, what did I get out of it, I guess. And, you know, and that might also be because, you know, I was home alone and we are, you know, in isolation. Maybe if you're doing it socially, it's a different thing. But but it also just like physically, you know, like the, the next day it was, you know, by that la- by the day, the day after I finished it all, there was a definitive feeling to my body where like I had put a foreign substance in there and where it was like, you know, I was moving a little slower you know, plus let's keep it real. You know, they, they say that that could be a bit of a depressant and considering all the shit that's going on, the last thing I need to do is take something that's going to put me in that frame of mind. So that's why, you know, I, I know they were saying on the news how like alcohol, like alcohol sales have gone up. As I know, you know, a lot of people are like drinking and I just thank God that like I don't. You know, and I don't really have any interest in that because I, I would imagine it would be very easy if you are like quarantined and not doing much to like, you know, suddenly drink or if you smoke weed or you do whatever it is you do, where like suddenly it's like, okay, I'm home, I'm bored, I'm going to do that. And so I, I just, you know, I thank God and I'm passing judgment by any means. This is, you know, what's working for me and I'm, and I'm happy that, uh, that I don't really care for it anymore. And I would have never thought I would say that. Now, I'm also going to say that that day that I realized that I can now put the glitter in the same category as the weed and the alcohol, (laughs) it was the moment of me being a little sad because I was like, oh, fuck, this sucks. Because then that was like, you know, of the three things that I do, that was the only thing left that I, there was still a little hope that I could maybe like do it again. And now I'm like, wow, now I could say I'm not. So I did have a moment there where I was like, this is kind of fucked up. (laughs) But no, it's not. It's actually kind of wonderful. So anyway, but I just wanted to come clean with that because if you did see my other video where I was saying how I was sober, yes, I am. uh, But I did have these two instances. My birthday party on the 29th of February and then a couple of weekends ago. And it's okay. You know what? I'm a better person for having done it and for trying it and for coming up with this conclusion, which has uh, made me feel really liberated and free and, and, you know, and happy. Gay is a happy word. All right, guys. So that is the scoop. 
So thank you so much for tuning in and indulging and letting me speak my speak. Uh, if, if this helped anyone out, if there's anyone that's, you know, that maybe wants to not drink or not do things, you know, don't. It's okay if you don't. And there are meetings out there if you want to go to, if, if you, you know, want that kind of support or help. I don't. Uh, I've been to 12-step meetings before, but I don't know if I necessarily need to do that now. I, I, I like to think that I have a grip on this. So, but totally nothing wrong with, with going to 12-step meetings anyway, if you want to stop doing anything like drinking or whatever. Or if you don't, and if you're enjoying it and you can handle it and you're having fun with it, that's wonderful too. It's all good. Whatever works for you is what's going to be best. So, that's the scoop. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thank you so much for being here with me and for tuning in. Don't forget, subscribe, thumbs up, and I will see you guys soon. Signing off. Love you.